I went on a date with a girl with autism, and I think she might have ruined me for dating. And I'm not sure what to do about that. Here's what happened. She's a child psychologist with a specialty in autism and also has autism. I'm a pretty inquisitive person, so uh, I spent the first like 45 minutes of our date just like asking her questions about her life, her accolades, interests and hobbies, passions. And then she stopped me and said, can I have a turn to ask you some questions? Normally at this point, people ask me, you know, when did I graduate chiropractic school or how long have I been playing guitar? Like very LinkedIn profile questions. She looks me dead in the eye and says, tell me everything you remember about your 18th birthday. What? It has been weeks since this happened, and I am still thinking about this question. Not only was I stunned by the question, I was stunned by my own answer. This girl learned more about me in two hours than most people do in two months. She wasn't trying to figure out what I do. She was trying to figure out who I am. It was like I was in a double blind experiment, and I loved it. A new bar has been set, guys, okay? If they're not asking you what you remember from your 18th birthday, we don't want it. Okay, I promise I'm gonna tell you guys what happened, but first we need to address something in the comments that's very concerning for me. Does nobody remember their 18th birthday? Is this like a global phenomenon? I feel like I'm going crazy. Uh, like this is a plot of a sci-fi film. This feels like the reverse Roman Empire. Go to the next room, find the first person you see, ask them if they remember their 18th birthday, because now I need to know if this happened to everybody. Yeah, so I never got to ask you. What did you ask? Yeah. So, um... It's really funny to ask because I realized I asked this question. I don't know why. But I can remember um, at the time I was actually studying for all right, guys, you guys wanted an update, uh, so let me give you an update. So we had an incredibly lovely five or six hour date where we talked about basically everything you can possibly imagine. I forgot to mention this in the original video, but I'm actually on the spectrum myself, so talking to her, just I felt like I had found my people. But at the end of the day, we both realized that our lives at the moment are probably just too wildly different for us to be realistic romantic partners, so we agreed to be besties for the resties, and I couldn't be more stoked about that. Um, did I miss anything? I think that about covers it. I'm not gonna make this date with April my entire personality, but there was one other question she asked me that just blew me away. So a lot of you might know that I'm ex-Mormon. I was like the most devout of devout till I was almost 30. I'm never sure how much to talk about this because I, I overshare. So normally I wait on people to ask me questions. Usually the questions I get are, did you drink caffeine? Did you wear weird underwear? Were you a missionary? This girl asked me, do you ever worry that your future partner will not understand the significance that Mormonism and leaving it had on your identity. <sighs> yes, a thousand times, yes, morning, noon, and night, I worry about this very thing. I've never been asked this question before. And this is probably why people trauma bond, because I think at the end of the day, outside of just physical isolation, what makes us feel loneliest is the feeling that the people close to us cannot relate to what we think is our most unrelatable part. And this question had nothing to do with me being Mormon and it had everything to do with my ability to feel connection from the niche parts of my identity. It could have been about race, it could have been about gender, it could have been about background of any kind. If you wanna talk about ice cream flavors and you know favorite band stuff on a first date, like this is probably not the question for you, but if you wanna to get to the crux of like who somebody is, this is a question. You know, dating, it's different for everybody. Everybody experiences different experiences and then the places that you go and then the people that you are with. Time just flows in a different way, right? And then sometimes just ask different things to different people, right? It just feels right to ask you certain questions to certain people because you're feeling that vibe. But this girl, especially because of her professional background, she kind of evaluates people and I think she knows how to <laughs> ask people or like kind of manipulate people in a way to get the information that she wants, right? If you, if you are to meet someone, if you're trying to understand that person, you're going to ask some specific questions, right? Some people just want to like know superficially someone by asking what's your favorite ice cream, uh, what you do on your free time, you know, normal questions per se. But some people like, they go more in deep and then the other person, I think it has two ways to go, right? Either you think, okay, this person is crazy, I don't think you're making any sense, that's a big no for me. Or you actually like, considering that question and thinking wow this is actually a decent question and then this got me thinking about 
my background, my past, my 18th birthday. You know, do you remember what you did on your on your 18th birthday? I myself, I don't think I did. I mean, I think I have to go through my photos and trying to understand what happened that night, which was not a long time ago, I would say. <laughs> Some people just have a better memory than the others, right? And then that also helps to know each other better. I mean, if you were about to ask me what happened when I was 19, when I was going to university or when I met my teachers for the first time, I can tell you exactly what I felt, I would say. Someone asked you for a particular moment in your life. Do you think you would be able to describe how you felt and then how was that situation and then which place were you at. You know, sometimes it'd be hard to go back in time and then just describe things. But on the other hand, if you are opening yourself to the person that you're meeting and then just sharing your experience and sometimes it can just mean like trauma and then like joy, you know, all these feelings, they're going to transmit a memory all these memories, they're going to have a feeling like joy or like if you miss someone. And then her, she being a child psychologist, she might have understood through her studies and even when she's practicing with the kids, like what moments are crucial and then make you a, a huge difference in your life, in your adult life. So maybe she was just trying to understand this guy in a way that, you know, when you were on your 18th birthday, what happened? Like, I want to know you more in depth because she might know what that might translate in the future or, you know, some people might be a little bit more damaged um, regarding to parenting or in their childhood because they suffered bullying. I don't know, she's a doctor, she's a specialist, she's the one that knows about these things. And I find it quite interesting, you know, you actually talking with someone that uh, might understand you deeply and then you just are able to, to share your experience. You know, it just makes this fun. Um, it, this just makes his date more fun. Some people might think it was just weird, as I said before, but this guy is just so in, he finds this woman amazing and he finds these questions so amazing and so worth it to ask. So if you are dating, maybe you should make this question from now on and maybe you have a better understanding who you're dating, right? Thanks for watching Story Chanda. Don't forget to like and follow.